I have a lot of Oh, you record Jade, are you recording it? Yeah, that was me. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. It's just notified. I just want to make sure. <laughs> um, no, yeah. So basically, um, like, yeah. So the best thing we can do is make TikToks of the sounds I put up already. Um, so if you guys feel inclined to do that or you have thoughts you want to share, a little your own interpretations or whatever you want to do, or you don't even have to do the things I'm doing. You can just use the sounds and like try other stuff or whatever. Like who knows one of us in this zoom chat could be the person that like invents the trend that pops one of these songs off. And then it's like a whole different rodeo. And next time we do one of these, there's like 120 people here, but it's the same vibe, you know? Um, but let me play like a couple more songs. Uh, and then, um, yeah. And then, and then I'll, I'm going to jump and have some Dan. Uh, this song's called, I got a lot to lose. What if I lived? What if you died? Would I just bury myself alive? Or would I be happier here in the hole in the back of my heart? You're getting me high, but what if I fall? What if I punch my fist to the wall? What if my mood erupts and the breakdowns break you down? Cause I got a lot to lose. Yeah, I got a lot to lose. Cause all that I got is you. So I got a lot to lose. Hey, hey. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Ba -ba I'm 
so standoffish That's not really who I am The truth is when I see you I just want to hold your hand And I know I'm pushing 30 But I don't feel like a man Lucky everything means nothing It's my flawless master plan dream about these moments every hour of every day when i'm high enough to think of something honest i can say so i walk around with headphones on and teach myself to pray because everything means something until that feeling fades away a million other guys but I can tell you think I'm kind of pretty when I smile if you leave me empty hearted then there's no reason to cry cause everything means nothing baby everybody dies Everything means nothing all your life. Thank you, thank you. Um, let me do, I don't know why. I feel like I shouldn't. Play. Is it cool if someone asks a question real quick? Yeah, of course. Okay, if anybody has a question, um, go ahead and ask. Um, well, I don't know if you can hear me, guys. What was that? Sorry, I missed that. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm actually shaking. <laughs> okay, um, well, I am just wanted to know that um, I love you so much. I'm from Costa Rica. <laughs> Um, English is not my first language, just in case. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm talking to you. Um, well, I just wanted to let you know that I love all of your songs, and I mean, it's, it's just like um, if you are happy, then you live in Flash, and if you are um, sad or lonely, just listen to Flash. And, Oh yeah, I love you. I love you all so so much. I'm the one who always tell you that I'm <laughs> a collaboration with um, Selena Gomez and you. I don't know if you. Oh, I mean, look, that's not on me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's not that's on the bigger artist. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that love. Um, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a couple more uh, tunes real quick. I'm gonna play one more that I think is a good note to leave it on um and then uh and then yeah so thank you so much for that anybody else have any questions i have, I have a hit me hit me go ahead go ahead okay um so i asked you this on your live the other day so uh, after the album are we gonna get a tour <laughs> yeah so like right now uh there's no plans um i've got like 180 songs that i gotta put out um, oh my gosh <laughs> that, yeah, i've written a lot of new material the album has like 12 songs and um i'm feeling really good about it uh but yeah basically right now my game plan is to like stay home and just put out as many songs as possible and really like starting here with y'all rebuild the core of what my listener base is because I think right now, like we're in this weird spot where like I took a bunch of time to make music. We did the name change. A lot of people didn't stick with it. And now we're kind of like redeveloping that. And I think the new music, as you can tell, is kind of in a different, a different atmosphere than it was previously, you know? And so I think right now what I'm doing is really just like working the socials, getting TikTok going, getting all that stuff going. And when I and, and us and my team feel confident that we'll be able to like really make a statement on a couple shows, then we'll go out there and play a bit. Um, but right now, definitely hang home, keep making songs, keep putting out songs and, uh, and hope to kind of get some steam rolling. Cause right now it feels a little bit, um, 
it's it would be scary to go out and play shows and not know if people are going to pull up where like if we can get a song or two moving like maybe a money love and death and a you know life or like this next one would play guiding light or something like that or something from the old catalog or whatever just something momentum feeling then i'd feel more comfortable because it's so expensive to tour you know what i mean like yeah, I bet. it costs like 120 grand to do like a week of shows so oh yeah so you have to like know that you can do it or otherwise i'm just in the hole and so like i think that's kind of where i'm at right now without being too like financially is just like you know right now we're yeah, just what's gonna happen and um i'm gonna put this album out and i really i pray to god that people hear it and i can go play those shows i think to start probably i would do like <clears throat> like a run of like seven i'd like to do like la new york chicago um like my main markets like dallas san francisco seattle portland maybe london really like just see what's going on in those places to start um but that that's kind of as far as i've thought about it right now just because i'm so focused on getting people to hear the music and then figure out how that's presented you know what i mean um but yeah so so that's where that's at and i'd love to tour it's just like i know i know we care but like do they yeah. care you know what i mean <laughs> you already know i told you the other day i'll be at all of them you know i, I think i'm not <laughs> I appreciate that thank you of course um, i need a new tattoo <laughs> uh yeah you told me that's awesome was there one more question yeah out of the songs that you play so far which one are you most excited to play like when you come on to question, question yeah i think rainbow actually is probably going to be the best live song on the record just like from my understanding of what goes well um just because it has that very like coachella festival-y vibe um i'm stoked on that one i'm really ex excited to do life um you know but uh yeah and then like obviously things people know the words to so i have a feeling people know money love and death by the time the tour comes around and that's always fun to do um and like the next one i'm gonna play i'm gonna play guiding light now and then i'll, I'll let y'all get to it um but this is this is uh guiding light Amelia had the ocean, Daniel had the waves, the two of them together, forever and always, the stars above were jealous, but stayed out of the way. Like this took centuries to make That's how this love feels to me Center of my universe and always meant to be That's why this love feels alive Even in the darkness we can see that guiding light all these estimations based on Greek mythology We're counting constellations never made much sense to me Like peanut butter jelly, salt and pepper in our bellies, Marilyn and Kennedy Golden rings and diamond things they'll always be eternally. That's how this love feels to me. Center of my universe and always meant to be. That's why this love feels alive. Even in the darkness, we can see that guiding light. You a storybook as old as time black and white we read between the lines so when you look me in the eyes you can see that guiding light tonight it's a fairy tale as old as time it's like i've known you over half my life so when I look you in the eyes, I can see that guiding light. We can see that guiding light. 
cute tune. Um, and then, I, yeah, obviously everybody's heard Palm Trees. I've got one other one that I want to play. This is double unreleased. So this is not from the album. This is after the album. But this is something I made that I'm just very stoked on. I have opinions and I wish I didn't care. I'm way too selfish and I'm over self-aware. I'm trying to let it go. I'm trying. I get nervous every time you say hello. Honestly, I'm scared that everybody knows I'm lying. Swear to God, I'm lying about everything and anything and nothing all at once. Yeah, I'll call you and I figure it out. Jiu-jitsu in the summer without me and you My dad thought I was dead on the couch in my room Breaking news, sky is blue, I'm not me without you That one's sick, I'm stoked on that one But um, yeah, so that'll be after the record But right now let's focus on Money, Love & Death If y'all would be down to make some TikToks and videos and reels and stuff to that That would be awesome, no pressure, but it'd be fire um, just because it gets the number up on it. And, uh, you know, that's good shit. Um, but yeah, I just want to say I love y'all and I appreciate you. And I'm excited to uh, see what comes next, whatever happens. Um, but um, hopefully people really hear this album because I'm extremely proud of it. It's it's my my proudest work to date. And Hazy's the executive producer and a point of the album, a percentage point of the album is going to her. And she's chosen to donate her point to the Best Friends Organization of America which is leading the charge to end kill shelters. Uh oh, we can't hear you. Oh, Hazy ended it. Can you hear me now? It's Hello? low. It's low. Okay, hold on. Uh oh, oh. Um, hold on. Hey, can you hear me now? All right, cool. Yeah, so I was just saying, Hazy's points going to Best Friends of America to end kill shelters, but she's begging me to go feed her some dinner. So I'm gonna jump. I love y'all. Um, thank you for hanging out, and I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to see everybody's videos that they make to Money, Love, and Death, and it comes out tomorrow night at nine. So let's celebrate it together. I love you guys. Thank you so much for doing this, Jada. Thank you for coming. You. Peace, right. everybody. Love you. Okay. Um. <laughs> If anybody wants to stick around for the games, I have a, a, a couple games that we could play. Is everybody, everybody down to play a few games? I, I don't know. I feel like kind of sad because I feel like Janash was mad at me or something. I don't know. Oh, he wasn't, he wasn't mad at you. It's just... Um, He's a smaller artist and he can't really play with bigger artists unless the bigger artist wants to collab with him. But keep 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 pushing that you want them to collab. You know, maybe it can happen one day. Maybe I catch Lena's eye. But no, you're good. You're good. I promise. Yeah, feels like so 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 rough. I don't know. Like it's like it's like I promise you're good. Um, does everybody want to introduce themselves before? We start the games so while I get it set up. Okay. Is there something specific you want us to say about ourselves? <laughs> oh yeah. Um <laughs> <can't> find <laughs> out. Um just your name, where you're from, how long you know Nash, and what was the last concert you went to? Um, my name is Dory. My pronouns are they them. I'm from Atlanta and I'm but I'm in between Atlanta and Chicago because I'm a flight attendant based out of Chicago. Um, and I've been listening to his music for, I don't remember. Um, I got this tattoo for, I have his, his lyrics tattooed for two years, but I don't remember how long before then I started listening to him. Um, and I unfortunately haven't gotten to be, to see one of his shows live yet. But hopefully, whenever he gets to go on tour, I'll be going to a few of them. But yeah. Thank you. Who wants to go next? 
Hi, I'm Courtney. Um, I'm going to include my pronouns. My pronouns are she, her. I'm from Pittsburgh. Hi. <laughs> and um, I've been listening to Nash for, I want to say, since like 2017, 2018. It's been a while. And mm, my last Nash concert, I think he went to oh, Ohio for the Broken Hearts Club Tour Leg 2. Um, what was the, the last concert in general that you went to? My God. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. Wait. You're good. You know, I don't know, but it's, it was unmemorable, so we'll just skip. <laughs> I forgot. Right. The last one I went to was Lauren Sanderson. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> Sorry, I'm interrupting. Thank you to the person that really likes my squash marshmallows. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Really cool. I like the mushroom ones. <laughs> Does anybody want to go next? Um, well, I'm Sophia. I'm from Costa Rica so far. And um, I've been listening to Nash for maybe eight years. I don't remember. And <laughs> um, what was the last concert you went to? Um, from Nash or? Oh, just, just in general. Um, Coldplay, yeah. Oh wow, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and Courtney, I love your energy. Okay. And I love your hair also. <laughs> you guys are all too nice. I like, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Anybody else want to go next? Okay, so yes. Are you bored? Hello? Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, hey. What's your name? Where are you from? And what was the last concert you went to? Yeah, myself, Shivan, and I'm from India. Okay. And actually, I didn't never been to any concert because it doesn't happen very often here. Yeah. It'll happen one day. Yeah, I'm right. waiting for that. Um, how long have you known Garrett? Yeah, well, yeah, first song I listened is DN Security, I guess, around five years ago. And then from previous year, I start listening him regularly. Every day, like. All right, yeah, thank that's you. That's myself. Sharing. I'm out. Yeah. All right, thank you for sharing. Does anybody want to go next? Hi, <laughs> my name is Lucia. I'm from Argentina, um, South America. Um, I've never been to a Nash concert because, well, he never came here, so that's impossible. And well, and I've known him for six years, I want to say. The first song that I've heard was I Hate You, I Love You. <laughs> so it's a big one. And that. <laughs> All right, thank you. Anybody else want to go? If not, I'm going to start um, the trivia game. All right. I'll go. Okay. Okay. First of all, um, is my mic working? It, it works, yes. Okay, good. Um, my name is Chance. I'm from Wichita Falls, Texas. And I found Nash back in 2016, I want to say. And the last concert I've been, concert I went to was a, uh, for an R&B singer named Cozy Boy. Thank you for sharing. Thanks, Chance. Good to see you again. Um, if nobody else wants to go, um, I'm going to start the start the trivia game. Uh, I'll go. My name is Jasmine. Um, 
I'm from a small town in Idaho and I've lived in Nash for like four years and the last live show I went to was five seconds of summer in Denver, Colorado. Um, is that all? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Um, I missed their concert. I was supposed to go in June, but I totally forgot. Jada, you didn't introduce yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, my name is Jada. I've known Nash for about six five or six years. I've run the count for the same amount of time as well. Um, the last show I went to was like two years ago, I think, and it was to see Olivia O'Brien. And I saw Olivia O'Brien, but not two years ago, like last year. <laughs> I went to go to the one last year, but I missed it. I'm gonna get back into concerts now and be so excited to do everything. Again. I have four coming up already. Oh, wow. For the next one. Um, I'm seeing Joshua Bassett, Lil Nas X, and then uh, my other favorite singer, Upsall, who I saw open for Olivia O'Brien, but I've known her for like years. Um, I'm going to at least two of her shows, maybe three. So I was excited great. to see her, but I didn't get to go to that, that concert. <laughs> Lee Tomlinson, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna share my screen right quick, and then we're gonna play this game. Okay, can everybody see it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oops, going a little slow. Uh-oh, that's a problem. All right, so basically this is just a trivia game. So you think you know Nash. Um, basically there's an easy level, a medium level and a difficult level. Each one has one correct answer. Uh, put your answers in the comment section and just have fun. There's gonna be true, false, multiple choice, in the, fill in the blank and then enumeration. Basically, you'll just have to list out um, what the questions ask you to list out. So let's start. First question, when is Gary's birthday? Just comment it in the comment section. I'm gonna just give you a couple, couple seconds. Is it June 15th, June 19th, June 16th, or July 16th? All right, is everybody ready? All right, if you said June 19th, you're right. He was born June 19th in Los Angeles, California. Recording in progress. Sorry. 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 Oh. All right, let's move on to the next question. Um, this is the numeration one. Uh, Garrett's released three EPs. Uh, list all three EPs in the comment section and let me know when you guys are ready. All right, looks like everybody's getting it. If you said you, me, and us, you would be right. You came out in 2015, me came out in the end of 2015, and us came out in 2016, right around the time I was introduced to him. All right, go to the next one. True or false? Or <coughs> Garrett was releasing his own solo music. He was a part of a two-piece duo called Gemini's with Harry Hudson. Is that true or false? All right, you got it right. It's true. It was made up of 
Ariadne and Garrett, and they were active in 2015 before they parted ways and started making their own music. They have a couple songs on Spotify if you ever want to check it out. Um, another true or false? Uh, Garrett reintroduced himself as Garrett Nash in 2022. True or false? All right, waiting on a couple more replies. <coughs> If you said false, I mean, if you said true, well, everybody said true. Well, um, I put uh, 2022, but really he reintroduced himself right at the end of 2021. Yeah, <laughs> a little trick there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next question. This is the difficult round. Um, can anybody name which scene this is, which music video the scene is from? Does anybody want a hint? Can you give me like one second so I can think like a lot? Okay. Because <laughs> I bet I could do this. Just give me one second. All right. All right. Um, let me try to play a little music. All right, looks like somebody's got it. Your hint is that it just came out. Literally. Not the song playing. <laughs> the, the one from the, from the picture. All right, we're getting it, we're getting it. Melody, you got it. This is from Where the Sidewalk Ends. If you haven't watched that, I suggest you go watch it. It's a cool little video they put together. <coughs> All right, um, there's one more question. So is everybody ready? All right, we're gonna go to the next one. This is a fill in the blank. Um, Garrett literally just said it earlier. And if you watch his last live, then you know um, what the title of his upcoming album is. The upcoming album. All right, looks like we're getting it. The art of letting go. Yes, that's the answer. All right. That's the end of that game. Um, I have one more game, but if everybody just wants to go, then that's cool too. But I don't know if, if you're excited for it, then I'll, I'll do the do the other game. Everybody down? Okay. I vote for another game. You do? All right, more games. <laughs> I only have one more, so after that, then we're gonna have to end it. So for this one, it's an emoji game. Basically, we're gonna show you a series of emojis and you just have to guess what the title of the song is. And here's an example. We have a superhero with a fire and then a little leaf symbol and it simplifies the song super lit. It's pretty simple. Some might be hard, some not. I tried to make it pretty easy, but here we go. First one. Again, put your answers in the comment section. Thank you. All right, it looks like everybody's got it. If you said home, you're right. 
for the next one. We have palm trees. I wonder what it could be. All right, everybody's getting it. That's good. If you said palm trees, you'd be correct. The next one, maybe a little harder, but you guys got it. Ooh, Ooh a little tough one. Um, no one's getting it right. Might've, might've made this one a little too hard. This one's supposed to be rumors. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, here's the next one. I'm hoping it's another easy one. We'll see. Hmm. All right, we're getting it. Is that imagine up? You're right. Time. The next one. Here we go. All right, good job, guys. This one is, you only got me when it's raining out. We have a couple more. Here's the next one. Uh -huh. Tripping you up. Okay, somebody got it. Melody, you are correct. It is hungover in a mission. Got it. All right, moving on to the next one. Some of you thought that other one was this one. If you said, I hate you, I love you, then you got that one correct. <laughs> All right, next one, it's a pretty easy one. Okay, everybody got it. Two shots. Here's the next one, another pretty easy one. Um, while you guys fill in your answers, I'm just gonna go over, um, I'm gonna do the prize right quick. So basically, um, I didn't really play for points in these games. So um, to everybody who stays till the end, I'm gonna pick like two or three random people. And I didn't really think about how like the shop is closed down online. I was gonna have you guys pick up um, some merch, but um, Instead, I'm just going to give out a concert ticket for the future. So an IOU, basically. So thank this is a thank you for coming. Um, so I'm going to like two or three of you guys to give concert tickets to for whenever he goes on tour. And everybody got that right. It is sunset. Oh, no, not the X. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here's the next one. Can we have a new 
You hate every little thing you pop up. All right, everybody get that. It's gonna be the Broken Hearts Club. I think we have one more after this one, but put your guesses in the in the chat section for this one. Uh, for the prize, I'll message you on whatever social media platform uh, you came from and let you know. All right, everybody got that one? It is wash your hands. And I believe this is the last one. Yes. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> All right, everybody's got it. It is money, love, and yeah. Thank you guys for playing. Um, that was my last game. And basically, I don't have anything else. <laughs> so if you guys want to uh, stick around and talk, that's cool. If not, then you're free to go. Um, uh, right click. Oh. I was saying thank you for doing this for us. Oh, no problem. Glad you guys came. Um, right quick, Melody, can you put your um, social media handle down in the comment section? I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Nash's dad was in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay. I think that's all. Um, again, like like Nash said, if you want, if we want him on tour, then basically we gotta get more people, get more fans in, and everything. So make sure you're making TikTok videos using his sounds. Uh, for sure, boost uh, money, love, and death, and um. That's something else I was gonna say, but I forgot. Okay. Thank you so much. No so fun. And how can I get um the recording? My what? The recording of the video. The recording of the video. Um, I started it late, but I think it's gonna save to my computer. I can upload it on like YouTube or something if you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want the part when I. You asked the question. Okay, yes. I got you. I got you. Thank you. No problem. All right, guys, that's the end. I'll talk to you guys later. Have fun. Have a great night. Be safe. Bye. 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 Thank you.